Hello there. Today is the 18th of August 2023 and my bicycle tour around Iceland continues. To give you a bit of orientation, Reykjavik is over here. Reykjavik's the capital. But I spent last night here in Thingvella National Park in a campsite. And today I'm going to do a very short day's ride around the lake and end up in a camping here, which I think is called something like Ulf Jots Vatten. Uh, here's some clips and commentary from the road. Speak in a bit. Cheers. Friday the 18th of August and the time is 11.20. I'm just leaving the uh, southern campsite at Thing Villa Park and today is just a short day. This is where I continue my loop around the lake. So I'm going to first go to the service centre. I'm going to eat a pizza and then I'm going to continue around the lake to a place called Olaf Stastofen. At least I think that's what it's called. I'll probably update you with the correct name later. It's only going to be about 35 kilometers. Could be about 300 meters of ascent. It rained overnight, but I've managed to get the tent away dry, so I'm in a pretty good place. Potential for rain today, but somehow feels like it's clearing up a little bit. Expecting strong winds later, maybe up to 30 kilometers an hour, maybe a bit more. Yeah, so we'll see how the day goes on. So when I started my tour, probably on day two or three, I came to Thingvella Park and I walked to a small waterfall and this was across a fault line, like a divide fault line. So I don't know if you can see in front of me, but you see it looks like there's a huge stone wall. Well, that's actually where I think two tectonic plates meet or have separated or something which is quite impressive. So I'm going to be turning right on this path and then continuing to the service centre. So I made my pizza stop and now I'm back on a road which I think is the 36, don't quote me on that. And uh, there'll be a bit of traffic on here until I make the turning off, which is then there's a minor road which uh, continues around the lake. So at the start of the trip, the pizza, are at, I don't know, 1900 ISK. seemed quite outrageously expensive to me but I had it anyway but now actually seems like it's not a bad deal at all same for the camping I paid 1300 for the camping last night which is actually the I think it's the cheapest camping I've paid so yeah In terms of uh, value for money, I think I'm definitely, when it comes to food, I'm definitely, uh, can't wait to get back to Greece for that. Prices have gone up in Greece as well, but the quality of the fresh produce, you know, it, it's, well, it's not even a competition between Greece and Iceland. In my opinion, the, uh, the food in Iceland is not good at all. So, I've got a few metres of ascent in the day at some point. But it's a short day and if the weather stays like this, it should be a nice pleasant ride. So I turn left here. map in front of us. Let's see what it says. Seems rather complicated. Follow this way for 4.6 kilometers. Okay, I'm not sure if you're picking this up. Oh, so eventually I'm heading back to the very top line 
uh, going towards Selfos. I'm going to go through Selfos, pick up some uh, groceries, and then follow on through the coastal road. Uh, somewhere in the top third, on the left-hand side, you'll see something called Ulf's Jots Vatten. That's where I'm heading today. That's supposed to have a campsite. So I've got two choices. If this campsite's good, I'll stay there. If it's not good, I'll carry on through the road and continue to sell fast and stay in a campsite I've stayed at before. It's expensive, but I know what to expect. And that's it. I think I've got a little bit less than an hour of cycling. Probably, probably much less. Depends on the quality of the road and uh, to, um, whether there's any hills and what the wind does. Here we go. Swing going on. I think by the time I get down to the lake shore, that might just turn into a bit of a tailwind. Certainly very beautiful, even with the overcast sky. I see some rain clouds on my left, but these other clouds are. Not really indicating rain to me particularly, over in front and to the left. so used to cycling around fjords that you forget sometimes this is a lake and not like a sea or a fjord over to my left. Yeah, it's a very beautiful area. know why but this little area reminds me of Meteora in Greece. Could just be the way the clouds are over those uh, rock formations at the at the very very far end of the screen. So the terrain is going up and down a bit. I've uh, got about uh, 17 kilometers to go. Probably a little bit more than an hour then I think. And looks like it could rain any moment but hasn't yet. Still a lot of flies in the air. There's a hell of a lot of flies around Thingvella Lake. So that's just something you get used to. On the first day I was here, I had, um, a month ago, I had to wear the head net. Uh, this morning there were a lot of flies, but they didn't seem to be trying to use me as a landing pad. So didn't need the head net at all. We'll see what this campsite's like. So I've been cycling for, let's have a little look. Just coming up to two hours. And I've got about 11 and a half kilometers left to go. It's not rained yet. I uh, did feel a couple of spots of rain just a second ago. Looks like I'm kind of on the edge of a potential rain cloud, but we'll see what happens. Uh, just came through quite uh, an area of rolling hills. Hopefully that's behind me now, it should be relatively easier going towards the destination. The road quality is lovely. So is the scenery. It's pretty amazing. There's uh, like sort of old volcanic lava fields and rock formations. Yes, yeah, very nice. And not much traffic, which is great. Normally when I say that, a car passes close by. Yeah, I can hear one behind me. What a magical skill for that, it's amazing. So yeah, I've circled almost all the way around the lake again. And the lake, uh, the road uh, joins the lake for a short section. And this campground is actually by a smaller lake. 
So I'll leave this uh, Thingvella Lake behind me and then whatever the name of this smaller one is, is where I'll be camping. Yeah, so kind of hoping that there's a nice shower there as I didn't have one yesterday. And because I've been in my rain clothes for a couple of days now, everything's a little bit uh, humid. That's a good word for it. Although I do like the word moist as well. So yeah, it'd be nice to have a shower and have a sit down, get some food on board. So I'm approaching the campsite and I was just ahead of some rain as well. So I'm not sure if it's gonna catch me up or not. But when I get there, I'll try and get the tent set up quickly or I'll um, go and sit in the little camping kitchen. tower there. I might actually it's see the sign. Ah, there we go. Then keep right. There we go. That says camping as well. And in we go. Looks like it's some sort of activity centre as well. Next, keep right. Then turn right. Like a little assault course on the right hand side. 